Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa, with another episode of Lisa's Lowdown on Love. And today's episode, infidelity. Now, here's the deal with the infidelity. I'm doing a Facebook Live, I did two weeks of it, and I'm like talking about my own personal story and whatever, so it brings up the topic of infidelity, which also brings up the topic of cheating. And so somebody email messaged me with a really great question that I know is very, very common. It's like a common question. I hear it often and it has to do with cheating. So it goes like this, Lisa, what constitutes cheating? Apparently a lot of people think that, you know, President Clinton you can remember back in the day, he was like, it's not cheating. It was only a blowjob. It's not cheating. It's only like cyber sex. It's not cheating. We were only Skyping sex. It's not cheating. It was only this. It was only that. It was only that. It's cheating. It's cheating. All of it's cheating. Cheating, 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 cheating. Just because you don't have the penetration doesn't excuse the act of cheating. Now, here's the rule of thumb, okay? This is more about the person understanding what their boundaries and limitations are and like basically how much shit you're willing to put up with. And I hope if you love yourself, it's not much. It has to do with you understanding exactly what you're willing to tolerate, what doesn't fly, what is like a no, 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 no. It's integrity, it's integrity. If somebody is out of integrity and they're doing stuff behind your back and they're talking to somebody that they know that they wouldn't openly just tell you, like, hey dude, I caught up with my friend. Oh, just so happened he was my prom date from 1988 and we were like kicking it on Facebook and you know what happened? He and his wife went to this awesome resort in Aruba and they were like talking about it. No big deal, dude. Like, whatever. Like, this is somebody that, like, I knew from a thousand years ago. But if it's shady and you're cryptic and you're hiding and you're sneaking and you're scheming and you're shady, then that's cheating. Anything shady, rule of thumb, zero tolerance to shady. If it seems like it's disingenuous and not honest and not open and not legit and just reeking of the shady, then... You got to cut it loose. You got to love yourself enough to be like, toodaloo, bro. Like, love and light. All is cool. You're just not ready to be with somebody like me. Because somebody like me, not down with the shady shit. So understand where you're at. It's not about them. It's about you. When people cheat, it's about a lack of self-love for themselves. They're looking outside themselves to soothe things that are missing that they can't fulfill within themselves. Now I ask you. Do you really want to be with somebody like that? And I know, but you love them and you love them. That makes you a codependent. You got to have boundaries. You got to have self-love. Without it, people are sticking around in relationships and they're not aware of how to solve the core issue problem that's leading to the cheating in the first place, which is a lack of self-love. So get your self-love on point on either side of the uh, fence. The cheater or the cheat e, the cheater, the person who's being cheated on, however way you want to say it, it all boils down to self-love. You got self-love, you got no need to cheat. You got self-love, you ain't sticking around and letting the cheater cheat again. So handle that. Get your self-love on point. All good things come from there. If you'd like to check out my workshops, hit me up, lisaconcepcion.com. LisaConcepcion.com. You could also try LoveQuestCoaching.com. It'll bring you to the same place. Bunch of workshops and things that you could do with me to get your love life transformed in 30 days. Starting with love of self, the most important love there is. Have a great day, everybody. Don't cheat. You're only cheating yourself.